Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. I'm so happy to be on this altar this evening to be the one sharing the word of God of this evening. Amen. Yes. Uh, before we go into details, we are going to read the word of God. I'm going to request everyone to stand on your feet and we read Exodus 19 verse 1. We are going to read a lot in this Exodus 19, in this chapter. We are going to read Exodus 19. We are going to starting from verse 1. And we are going to jump to Exodus 19, 9 to 11. And again, we are going to read 14, 19, 14. Amen. So let's read in Jesus' name. Exodus 19, 1. In the third month after the children of Israel had gone out of the land of Egypt, on the same day they came to the wilderness of Sinai. Chapter 2, verse 2. For they had depart departed from the Rephidim, had come to the wilderness of Sinai and camped in the wilderness. So Israel camped there before the mountain. Number three. And Moses went up to God and the Lord called him from the mountain saying, Thus you shall say to the house of Jacob and tell the children of Israel. You have seen what I did to the to the to the Egyptians and how I bear how I bore you on eagles wings and brought you to myself. Five. Now therefore, if you will indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant, then you shall be a, a special treasure to me above all people. For all the earth is mine. Amen. Take me to Psalms 15.1 before we read other scripture there. Psalms 15.1. These screens are not working. Lord, who may, who may abide in your tabernacle? Who may dwell in your holy hills? Number two. He who walks uprightly and works righteousness and speaks the truth in his heart. Number three. He who does not backbite with his tongue, nor does evil to his neighbor, nor does he take up a reproach against his friend. That person will abide in the holy mountain of God. Amen. You may have your seat quietly. And we are going to read other scripture while you are down. Amen. Uh, my name is Evangelist Elijah. Some calls me Pastor Elijah. I'm happy for both. And uh, today I'm so privileged to stand on this altar. I'm so grateful to my spiritual father, Pastor Axel Nongo. And also to our reverend. Pastor John Muli. Amen. Thank you so much, Papa, for giving this opportunity to stand here. You know that I am that much better than others, but the grace fell, fell on me today to share. And I assure you, before the end of this service, you will be blessed. Amen. I, but, because, but your amen is like doubting. I say, before the end of this service, you will be blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. Today I have a small, a, sm a very small topic that we are going to share together that says the glory. Amen. Somebody come after me, the glory. Amen. Yes, yesterday when the man of God told me I'm um, the one who will preach, I told him, Papa, you will preach, I will lead. 
because I wanted to be ministered to. But he sent me a message saying, Elijah, plan for tomorrow. You will preach. I went through the Bible, praying, praying, telling God to tell me what to speak. Early in the morning, I came here. I was in the prayer room praying from the morning up to six. And what came in my mind? The voice of the Lord tells me, Elijah, tell my people to call the glory. Amen. That's what God tells me to tell you today. In everything that you go through, just call the glory. In everything that surpasses your knowledge, just call the glory. You can fail in everything, but you cannot fail when you are walking under the, with the glory, in the glory. Every great person in the Bible those who shook the, the world, they walked with the glory and they performed miracles. They performed wonders. Why? Because they allowed to walk. They accepted to walk in the glory of God. Praise the Lord. And that's what the message that is coming to you today. Just call the glory. Today we are in Miracle Friday. And what scared me a lot is that how and what will I speak to the people of God? What will I do when people are coming? Am I able to do this and that? But the voice of the Lord told, tells me, Elijah, go and call the glory. And today that's what I will do. I will just call the glory. Amen. And if you are here and you are sick, I will just call the glory and you get healed. If you are here and you are oppressed, I will just call the glory and you will be healed. Unajua pana mambo mengine ambayo kwa akili za mwanadamu unaonaga ni mazito awezu kayaweza. Na ukijiangalia wale ambao wanakuzunguka pengine hawana uwezo wa kukutendea kenye unataka. Unajipata kwa area ambapo wewe na machozi ndio marafiki. Wengine kwa sababu wamefunzwa hawataki kuambia watu wengine shida zao, lakini kitanda chako na pilo yako inajua we ni nani. Inajua kenyo napitia. Lakini nimekuja kutangazia mtu jioni ya leo because of the glory on this altar. You are going back as a conqueror because of the grace of the Lord on this altar. You are going back as a, as a winner because of the glory of God on this altar. Your life is changing completely because of the glory of God in the, on this altar. Not because of my power or my knowledge or not because I am preaching to you. Not, aha, uh -huh, thank you Holy Spirit. And others we say today I, I, I've been listening to the preachings of dad here in the church. And I heard him preaching and say unajua kuna wengine wakiona kwa poster wanaalika wa ubiri, wanajua ni nani ata ubiri hilo siku wata enda kwa ibada. But I came to tell somebody you are blessed because you are here. You are lucky because you are here. You are lucky because you are here. And you will remain the same person if you are still looking upon those who are releasing. We are not here to release our own messages. We are not here. We are in the Bible. And if what others are releasing comes from the Bible, and what I am releasing comes from the Bible, then the same, same result. It doesn't matter who is preaching to you. What matters is the God that he carries. It doesn't matter who is preaching to you. What matters is the God who is carrying. And I came to tell somebody the God of my father is my God today. The God of Pastor Action is the God of Elijah on this altar. If his God healed the sick, the God of Elijah will heal the sick. If his God 
performed miracles, the God of Elijah will perform miracles. If he does wonders, my God will do wonders. Not by power, not by might, but by the Spirit of the Lord. That's why I tell somebody you are lucky because you are here. Your testimony will not take long. You are testifying about what God has about to do, is about to do in your life. Glory to Jesus. What is the glory? The glory is the presence of God. The glory is the appearance of God in a certain place. The Bible says that when Jesus was praying on the mountain, alikuwa amefikia viwango amechoka. Na akaomba kambia bwana ikiwezekana kikombe hiki kiniepuke. Ukisikia mtu anafikia kuomba akasema kikombe kimwepitie yani kimwepukie manake anaona uzito wa yale mambo Yesu akaona uzito wa yale mambo akaona vile atakufa akaona vile wamemsarau akaona yale mateso ambayo atayapitia akaambia baba kikombe hiki kinipitie ikiwezekana kama ni mapenzi yako lakini kwa sababu kikombe akitampitia ilibidi malaika wa Mungu amshukie. Yaani the Bible tells me that the glory of God came, the angel of God appeared to him to comfort him, to strengthen him. Na hapo hapo wakati malaika wa Bwana alishuka kwa huo mlima, maandiko yanasema Yesu akabadilika, uso wake ukangara na mpaka alipokuwa akiomba machozi na jasho lake likakuwa la damu kwa nini kwa sababu pana mambo yasiyo ya ukawaida ambayo yako yanatendeka wakati ambapo Mungu anataka kutukuza jina lako unapitiaka mambo ambayo wengine wakiyapitia wanaweza kufa unafikiri huyu mwanamke ambaye alipona kwa kitabu cha Marko sura yake ya tano, mstari wa ishirini na tano. alipona damu alipona tu kwa sababu alikutana ali, ali na Yesu sikia ni kwambie kitu hapa hakupona tu sababu alifaa kupona ama hakuishi sababu alifaa kuishi lakini aliishi na hiyo ugonjwa kwa sababu juu yake kulikuwa ahadi ya utukufu wa Mungu kuonekana juu yake mtu mwingine akiishi na hiyo ugonjwa for one year two years anaweza kufa the glory of god yesu utukufu wa bwana ukamjilia na ukamtia nguvu na wakati alipata nguvu hakuomba tena kikombe kimupitie akasimama na usujaa akaenda na akafanya kazi kama alivyokujia kufanya Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Manake nini mtoto wa Mungu? Pana viwango ambavyo utavipitia wewe peke yako. Unaona ni kwamba hautaweza na hata watu wanakutia moyo. Unaona ni kwamba wanakuziaki. Lakini ninakuja kukutangazia the bigger your problem, the bigger your testimony. The bigger your problem, the bigger your testimony. The bigger your challenge, the bigger your testimony. Testimony. I came to prophesy to somebody who has been undergoing challenges uh, to the stand that nobody could be able to come and encourage you and give you courage. Unajua kuna vitu zingine watu wanaweza kutia moyo na ukaelewa ukajua hii ninafarijika. Lakini kuna viwango ambavyo hauna haja watu wa kufariji. What you need is the glory of God. Watu walimfariji Ana na wakamwambia Ana Mungu hata mume wake mwenyewe akamwambia mimi sina haja ya mtoto Ana mbona mind yako haiko settled tulia hata mimi nitakuwa sawa na nitakutuku nitakushughulikia na ninatosheka na wewe paka akamtapa akamwambia Ana si unajua wewe uko mzuri kuliko hata watoto wote wanaweza nizalia you are beautiful but those words hazikufanya Ana arrest because alijua ni kwamba kenye kinaweza nipatia kenye na 
kaka haiko maneno ya we elkana haiko maneno ya bwana wangu haiko maneno ya watoto wangu haiko what will give you what your heart desire haiko maneno yenye watu wanakuambia you can make it you will make it haiko those words but it is the glory of god if there are things that believers we should look for is the glory of god to not depart away from our places even at your home desire the glory of god even at your church in everywhere you are call for the glory and that's what god tell me tell my people to just call my glory the glory of god can take you to the level where you are not expecting to be utukufu wa bwana unaweza kuweka kwa viwango ambavyo haukutarajia kuwa somebody will ask me how maandiko inasema israeli walipotoka misri mungu akaongoza na utukufu wake akawavusha jangwa ya shamu bahari ya shamu akawavusha jangwa ya elim akawavusha mahali panaitwa mara mara ni, ni mahali ambako kulikuwa na maji jangwani lakini yale maji yalikuwa ni machungu haleluya i thank the holy spirit lakini sababu acha nikupe ka kitu kadogo pale alafu niendelee maandiko inaambia inasema Mungu akaambia Musa angalia kando ya maji kuna kijiti ukikate uweke ndani ya maji alafu yale maji yatakuwa matamu Musa akafanya kama Mungu alivyomwambia akakata kile kijiti akaweka ndani ya maji maji yakawa matamu mara mara manake ni machungu si ndio yale tuna hiyo tunajua tulifunzwa mara manake machungu so israeli walipofika nafikiri wa moja walifarijika wakasema kwa muda mrefu hatuna maji kwa muda mrefu watupati maji nafikiri walikimbilia waanze kunywa na wakati wanakunywa wanakuta ni machungu kuna mahali utafika katika maisha yako unaona kitu inakaa destiny yako unaona kitu inakaa kile Mungu alikuahidi lakini ukikikaribia ni kichungo unaona ndoa unajua Mungu amenikumbuka lakini ukikaa kwa hiyo ndoa ni mara ni machungu ndoa ya uchungu unakaa kwa huduma lakini huduma ni uchungu inakaa mara kwako ndio unaona mtu ni muombaji mzuri lakini hanaka furaha kwa nini ushakuona mtu anakunywa vitu vichungu alafu akatabasamu kila mwana kunywa vitu vichungu suraki na kanga na kaa chungu ndio unaona mtu anaga furaha kumbe maisha anapitia ni mara lakini sasa wachungaji wao wanakuwa hata wakipitia mara wanakuanga wazuri wana, wana smile smile hautajua wako kwa mara lakini hawesa hao amen mara ni machungu walipokata kile kijiti wakaweka ndani ya maji maji yakawa matamu na wakaanza kula na kile kijiti ni nini ni picha ya Yesu Kristo ambaye ukimuweka ndani ya maisha yako ambayo inajaa machungu ile test ya uchungu inaondoka na unaanza test vizuri kuna watu walikukimbia sababu ya mara sababu ya uchungu ukimkaribia anaona ni kama haufai kuwa karibu yake ukiongea naye anaona ni kama maneno yako haina msingi kwake yani watu wanakukimbia sababu uko pale mara lakini waambie Yesu anapoingia ndani yako presence ya Yesu yani glory ya Bwana utukufu wa Bwana unapoingia ndani ya maisha yako unabadilishanga kila kitu Tuseme amen Israeli wakavuka hiyo jangwa 
Maandiko yanasema wakaondoka wakafika mahali panaitwa Sinai ni jangwa inaitwa Sinai baada ya kuvuka mahali panaitwa Refidimu wakafika mahali panaitwa Sinai na walipofika Sinai maandiko inaniambia wakapumzika hapo wakajenga matenti zao wakafanya kambi hapo mahali panaelekea mlima wa Sinai Niko nakwambia kwamba utukufu wa Mungu unaweza kupeleka viwango ambavyo hakuna mwanadamu anaweza kukupeleka. Kenye kinafanya Israeli watoke Misri, wafike hapa mali wanaweka kambi ni utukufu wa Bwana uliokuwa ukiwaongoza. Amen. Maandiko yananiambia wakati wanaweka kambi hapo the Bible tells me that Moses went to God Amen. Musa akaenda kwa Mungu. Lakini atuone vile Musa anaenda kwa Mungu. Musa kwenye alienda ni kwa mlima, lakini maandiko yanatuambia akaenda kwa Mungu. Na wakati Musa ako na panda huo mlima, maandiko yanasema sauti ya Bwana ikamuita. Sauti ya Mungu ikamuongelesha, ikamwambia Musa Enda utakase wana wa Israeli. Uambie wajitakase leo na kesho kwa maana siku ya tatu nitawaajilia niongee nao. Wasikie pia sauti yao. Kenye kinapeleka Musa hapo haiko sababu yenjo Musa, haiko sababu yenjo mwenye Mungu anaweza tu kupeleka lakini sababu ya utukufu wa Mungu. Unakumbuka kuna wakati Musa kwa kitabu cha e, kutoka sura tatu. Mungu ana Mungu anakutanana na Musa. Musa anaona kichaka kinawaka moto na wakati alitaka kukisogelea, Mungu akamwambia usikaribie hapa kwa maana hapa ni patakatifu. Lakini kwa mlima wa Sinai, Mungu anaambia Musa kuja upande ni kuambie mambo yenye utaambia wa na wa Israeli utukufu unaweza kupeleka viwango yenye haukutarajia unaweza kuwa so usikuwe na pressure relax and enjoy your life hata kama vitu haziende vile ulitarajia relax wakati mwingine watu wanapitia mambo mazito na unaanza kujiweka hadharani paka watu wanajua wewe uko namna gani relax my dear Asi sina rent sasa naenda kutafuta naenda tafuta sugar daddy a uh, sponsor an sponsor nilipe rent the glory can do everything call for the glory call for the glory oh atafuta ka ben 10 eh kenye kata kata ni sote hizi story yani vitu ikuwe sawa <laughs> so hizo zote hazina maana just look for the glory tafuta utukufu wa Mungu wakati yenye utaanza kuenjoy utukufu wa Mungu you will never desire anything else a part of the glory wakati yenye utaanza kuenjoy unari una, una release kwa Mungu unaanza kuishi ndani ya utukufu hautawahi tamani kitu kingine zaidi ya utukufu why let me take you somewhere the bible tells me that when more when god called moses in the book of the Deuteronomy chapter 2 he told them to break the camp he told them to break the camp and moses tell told god if your glory does not go with us we are not living here Why because Moses had already experienced the power in the glory. Utakapopewa utukufu wa Mungu, hautawahi tamani kitu kingine. So unaona makanisa za mingi zinakuwa na politics, zinakuwa na na, na entertainments, wanaanza ku fake miracles it just because they have failed to call the glory. 
They have failed to call this glory. Mungu akambia Musa Uambie wana wa Israeli wajitakase leo na kesho kwa maana siku ya tatu nitaongea nao. This is the word of God that God is talking to Moses to tell the Israelites. Glory to God. And today I came as a Moses in this place to tell you everyone hearing my voice that Mungu anataka ujitakase leo na kesho ujitakase maisha yako itakasike kwa maana siku ya tatu Mungu atakuja kututembelea This is prophetic Why the Bible says in the third month Kwa mwezi wa tatu, I don't know kwa nini na leo tuko mwezi wa ngapi? Wa tatu. Uambie tell the Israelites watitakase na waoshe nguo zao. Kwa maana siku ya tatu nitakuja kuongea na wao. Number one, the key to access this glory ni kujitakase. Glory of God I said I told you ni uwepo wa Mungu yani presence ya Mungu amen na Mungu ni mtakatifu na hawezi kukaa mahali ambako ni pachafu ndio kwa maana wakati Mungu anaongea na Musa akamwambia hivi kwa hiyo siku mtahakikisha wana wa Israeli hawakuji huku kwa umlima hakuna mtu mtaruhusu kupanda huu mlima kwani Musa uhakikishe Hakuna mtu ana, anaingia kwa huu mlima kwa hiyo siku. Iwe mtu au iwe nyama, iwe mnyama, iwe kitu chochote, hakina rusa kuingia kwa huu mlima maana utukufu wangu utakuwa hapo. Ukikubali utukufu wa Mungu, atakupatia heshima yenye watu wengine hawana. Yenye watu wengine hawana. Musa miongoni mwa watu maelfu ambao Mungu alitoka nao ambao Musa alitoka nao Misri watu maelfu lakini Musa peke yake ndiye Mungu anakubali aingie kwa huo mlima the glory can take you the glory can elevate you the glory can give you favor the glory can give you access kwa vitu ambavyo wengine wanashindwa wana, wana, wana kwa access glory to jesus listen to me the mountain was there and everything could just unajua mlima mungu, mungu akambia Musa chukua inaitwa nini ribon sio inaitwa nini riba uichukue okay let me read this like this wakati kuna kuwa kesi fulani wakati kuna kuwa kitu fulani imeji, ime crimine, criminal fulani imeji hape, imetokea kuna hiyo polisi wanakujanga wana wana wana, wana seal. thank you my reverend wana seal hiyo place hiyo inakwenda maanisha hakuna mtu iko na access ya kufanya nini ya kusogelea hapa ama kupita through, through that that place that's what god told moses why because i am coming on that on that mountain so seal the mountain seal every way hakuna kanjia kenye mtaacha watu wapitie na msiruhusu mtu yote kupita kwa mlima ambia wana wa israeli atakaye ukaribia huu mlima na kuugusa atakufa wala hataishi Musa akaambia wana wa Israeli hivi ndivyo Bwana anasema mjitakase na muoshe mavadhi yenu kwa maana siku ya tatu ataongea na sisi Niko nakupeleka mahali ambako utukufu vitu ambazo utukufu wa Mungu unaweza kufanya inaweza ikakupatia access mahali ambako wengine hawana access Kumbuka hiyo mlima inakuwa sealed lakini Moses iko ndani ya huo mlima anaongea na Mungu na wengine wote maelfu ya watu wako huko chini wanangojea Musa shuke awaambie kitu utakapotaka utukufu wa Mungu utakupatia viwango vyenye hata watu watu wa maajabu hawezi wakakupatia Bwana asifiwe Yaani nilikuwa nafuata okay Yaani nilikuwa nafuata kitu kimoja kwa kwa Facebook nikaona mtumishi wa Mungu Solomon 
ako anaimba mahali kwenye kuna umati ya watu wengi ni kama ilikuwa kampeni ya president na nikajua so msalifika yeye hapa yeye mtu mmoja akanambia huyo president anampendaga sana unamkumbuka ndio alikuanga wa kwanza kumpeleka state house nikielewa utukufu wa Mungu unaweza kutanisha na watu ambao wanakari nyota yako so don't cry usijiulize itakuwaje wakati unapata vitu zina kazi aziendi rudi kwa magoti ambia bwana nahitaji utukufu wako na usipokuja sitaondoka hapo hiyo neno ilikuwa neno kwa kinywa ya Musa lakini kwa Mungu kwa Mungu haikuwa tu neno kama utukufu wako hauendi nasi Mungu anaangalia Musa Musa wewe nimekuokota mahali ambako ulikuwa uende ukufe nikakusaidia ukaenda mpaka kwa mfalme farao na ukaanza kuishi kwa nyumba ya kifalme mpaka nikakupa mission ya kuwaokoa wana wa Israeli na ukatoka nao misi ukavuka nao bahari ya Shamu ni mimi nilikupa uwezo wa kufungua yale bahari na ukaendelea Musa nikawalisha maana jangwani na ukaendelea Musa na leo Musa Musa alikuwa na reason ya kuambia Mungu sipoenda nami sitaondoka. Hiyo inafaiwe maombi ya Wakristo. Hiyo ndiyo inafaiwe maombi ya kanisa. Hiyo ndiyo inafaiwe maombi ya watumishi. Wengine tunabaki mahali pamoja na hatuna utukufu wa Mungu. Wengine tunakubali kuenda na hatuna utukufu wa Bwana. Ndiyo kwa maana wakati ambapo tunakutana na Wayahudi, tunakutana na Wayebusi, wakati tunakutana na Wamidiani, wana Tupika na tunaanguka kwa maana we went without the glory Ati pastor wali, 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 alikuwa tempted na akaanguka where was the glory where was the glory Ati kanisa kosa frank pesa ya kulipa rent tukafunga church church ikaisha where was the glory ati nimefukuzwa kazi ati nimekosa kuzaa ati imekuwa hivi na hivi nimeshindwa kupona where is the glory where is the glory if there are things that believers we should look for is the glory of god to never leave us to never depart from us yes inawezaonekana ni mazito na kuna wakati mwingine mungu ataiata ionekane hivyo hata mbele za watu hata mbele za wengine wanaona wewe unapikika but the glory is there but because bado unaambia Mungu sitaondoka. Kwa kipindi cha sitaondoka ni kizito, lakini wakati utukufu inakuja, utaondoka. Na hata kama wewe Musa hauko tena, ule utukufu utakuwa juu ya Joshua, na Joshua ataendelea. Na hata kama Joshua hautakuwa, ule utukufu utakuwa juu ya wengine na wataendelea. This Moses alikuwa na mi, na siri ambao alipata ndani ya utukufu Kumbuka mahali pengine wako kwa vita maandiko inasema Joshua akaenda bondeni kupigana vita na Musa akapanda juu ya mlima kuomba Mungu kutafuta utukufu Vita zingine utaziachia watoto utaziachia watoto tafuta utukufu tafuta utukufu great men knows watu ambao watabadili watatikisa dunia wanajua siri ya utukufu wanajua siri ya utukufu usifikiri ni kwa bure Mungu anaambia Musa nimekufanya Mungu kwa Waisraeli kwa sababu ya utukufu ambao ulikuwa juu yake Musa anashuka kwa mlima 
uso wake unaangaa kwa kiwango hakuna binadamu anaweza akamwangalia akaishi na Mungu anasema Musa hawezi ukaniona ukaishi kwa maana hakuna mtu anaweza niona akaishi Mungu akaweka Musa utukufu kwa kiwango binadamu hawezi wakamwangalia that is my prayer today Mungu aweke utukufu juu yako watu ambao watakuangalia washindwe kuangalia mara ya pili watu ambao wako na kutafuta wa kuangamize washindwe kukuangalia wale ambao wanataka waone kazi yako imeangamia washindwe kukuangalia kwa jina la Yesu utukufu kuonekanie jioni ya leo Sikia kitu Mungu anaambia Musa give me na Exodus 19:9 Sikia kitu Mungu anaambia Musa hapa 9 to 11 Oh God we love you Oh the glory And the Lord said to Moses Behold I come to you in the thick cloud that the people may hear when I speak with you and believe you forever and they believe you forever I love the Kiswahili the Kiswahili nasema nimekuja kwako Musa nimekuja kuongea na watu ili kwamba watu nao wasikie nikiongea na wewe kwa nini Mungu anakuja kuongea na watu kwa maana watu walimwinukia Musa wakamwambia hatutasikiaga vyako tena kwani ni wewe peke yako Mungu anaweza ongea naye asikamo hiyo Mungu wako anaongea hata sisi hakuja ongea na sisi hiyo Mungu akawaambia uambie wajitakasi <laughs> Haiko kila mtu mwenye anaita Mungu. Mungu kuja ongea nami. Mungu ongea nami ndiye Mungu anaongea kanaye. God is not a talkative. He is a God of order. And many people have been fooled. Wanajiweka wanafikiria na wakiomba unaona wanaomba Mungu kuja sema nami. Mungu kuja sema nami. Will you bear the voice of God? utakubaliana na utawezana na sauti ya Mungu. Bwana akamwambia Musa tazama mimi naja kwako katika wingu nzito ili watu hawa wasikie nitakaposema nawe nao wapate kukuamini nawe hata milele nao wapate kukuamini nawe manake wakiniamini mi Mungu wakuamini pia wewe Musa utukufu wa Mungu unafanya tuaminike hata watu walikuwa wakuamini tafuta utukufu wa Bwana ta utukufu wa Bwana That's why I told you you are lucky because you came and those who knew that because someone will be preaching today is just a young boy that we always see around here I will not go Yes they did well because the glory will dis- will put a distinct as a distinction a distinct uh, will distinguish will put a distinction that is deep Amen. That is deep. Oh. The glory will put a distinction. One has fear. Mungu akambia Musa, nimekuja kusema na hawa wasikie nikiongea na wewe. Kwa sababu walikuwa kana wazia vyenye Musa anawaambiaka ni vyake vyenye anatosha huko kwa mlima. Unajua watu wenye wakuamini wanaweza kufikiria vyenye vyenye hata huko. Watu kama wakuamini <laughs> wanaweza kutia moyo, wanakuambia pasta tuanze huduma na mnaanza huduma senye kanisa mnaweka hapo wanakimbia. Unabaki peke yako unajiuliza Mungu nitaanzia wapi? Na pengine kwenye ulitoka uliacho na haribu, hautarudi. Ndio unakutanaka watu wanakuwa na miziko na wanagonjwa hata depression. Unajiuliza pasta ilikuwaje? Pasta alijiua, pasta alikimbia. Unajua kwani kulikuwaje? watu Mke wako akishindwa kuamini Utaona tu anakuonesha ka upendo but kuna vitu zingine zenye hawezi ona Mungu 
kambia Musa nimekuja wa ndugu yangu kuongea na wewe Musa ili kwamba wajue kama haiko vyako wao pia wasikie kama vile mimi nakwambiaka haiko maneno yako i came to tell so that they may know that so that i may speak with them and so that they mhm wapi i come to you in the sea in the thin cloud that they that the people may hear when i speak with you and believe you forever manake walikuwa wameanza kutokumwamini amen walikuwa wameanza kutokuamini Musa Unajua ukiingia kwa viwango vya utukufu vyenye unataka kufanya ni tofauti na watu wengine. Sasa watu watashindwa kukuamini haiko sababu hauko wa kuaminika lakini vyenye huko unafanya viko beyond kenye wanaweza kuelewa. Kuja kesho hapo upate Pastor Liz ana, anaweka mikono kwa wagonjwa wanapona anasimama tu asema fire watu wanaanguka mtasema Pastor Liz huyu huyu mwe tunajua Pastor Liz huyu Amen That's what happened to Moses Lakini Mungu akasema nimekuja sasa uambie wajiandae nitaongea wakisikia lakini wasikaribie mlima kwa maana ha, ha, watakasike kwanza na wakati walitakasika hawakutakasika kisha wakaingia ndani ya mlima kwa sababu mlima ulikuwa sealed Mungu akaambia Musa hata dudu isiingie kwa huo mlima kwa maana mimi Mungu nitashuka kwa huo mlima lakini kumbuka watu wengine hawako kwa mlima vidudu haviko kwa mlima mnyama hazingii kwa mlima lakini Musa ako kwa mlima utukufu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kama kuna kitu muamini hautawahi kubali kiondoke ndani ya maisha yako ni utukufu. Vingine vyote vinaweza kuondoka hata viende. Wanaweza kufukuza kazi wakufukuze. Wanaweza kufukuza kwa nyumba wakufukuze. Lakini wasikunyanganye utukufu wa Mungu. Wasikunyanganye utukufu wa Mungu. Utukufu wa Mungu unaweza pigana vita senye haunge piganaga wewe kwa nguvu zako. The glory of God can fight. I will give you two examples. Kuna mse mwingine kwa Biblia anaitwa Jehoshaphat. Huyu mse hakukuanga muimbaji, alikuwa ni mfalme. Lakini wakati wa vita unaona Ukraine kenye wako wanafanya huko na Russia wanaweka missiles wanaweka maandege hizo za vita Wanawe, so wengine wanajipanga kama Russia alafu we Jehoshaphat unaambia Gile na mama Sara wasimame hapa washike microphone waanze kuimba alafu wengine wako wanasukuma missiles we, wewe Hujoja fati wewe. Najua kuna watu wenye wali, wali, walitaka kumpatia kansu, kumkanso president wetu king. Fikiria mara ya pili alafu tuambike kufanya. Hawa se wanajiami vizuri. Hawa se wako na silaha nzito nzito. Hawa se wanajua kupigana vita. Si mara ya kwanza wametuinda wakatushambulia na wakatupata. Na leo nasema sasa waimbaji waende wa makuani wafuatie wakipiga hizo tarumeta alafu vita tutashinda wewe president. Mr president. Fikiria Haijalishi nini adui yako iko nayo. Haijalishi silaha alizo nazo. Haijalishi Kenya anatumia kuwa fat, kuangamiza ama kukuweka down. What matters is the, great, the glory of God. What makes dif- a di- difference? Wakati niligundua siri ya utukufu Niliacha kulialia hata wakati uko na shida 
unaikonsume una unaimeza unaimeza tu kwa sababu gani utukufu unaweza kufanyia vyenye watu hawezi kutembea amen unaweza kufanyia kenye watu hawezi kutembea Josafati akapigana vita mpaka wale wase wakaanza kuuana wao kwa wao wakaanza kuuana wao kwa wao haiko huyo peke yake hata Gideon Gideon anaambia wate wase wanyonge mchukue hizi mitungi ndio twende tupigane vita wakati mnaona adui mnaangusha mtungi mmoja tu na mnalamika kwa mkono wa Mungu na kwa mkono wa Gideon wewe so utukufu wa Mungu ukiwa na watu vyenye wanafanyaga ni tofauti na vyenye watu wengine wanafanyaga kanisa lenye liko na utukufu wenye wanafanyaga ni tofauti na vingine wanafanyaga usishangae mtu anakuja hapa BMI alafu anasema mimi siwaelewi sasa utatuelewaje utatuelewaje jamani utukufu yenye iko hapa ni tofauti na yenye ulikuwa naona huko kwenu sasa huwezi kutuelewa So you will look at Elijah when he is praising na unasema oh who, who is this Elijah is the pastor the pastor Elijah but when I'm praising the Lord I don't care who is looking at me because this is the way I win my battle I just dance for my Lord and my enemies they fight themselves So kila mtu ako na siri zake kwa Bwana Huyu msikaambia watu mchukue mitungi. Wengine wako na mishale, wako na visu marungu na wanakuja kwa horses. Watu wanaambia watu mchukue mitungi. Sasa hiyo mtungi ndio tu sauti yake kilia tu chini. Adui wanasema hawa se wako hatari. Wenye kwa wenye wanaanza kuuana. Mtumishi mwingine wa Mungu anamtumia maadui. Asema wende mchukue mwambie akuje kwa mfalme. Mfalme yako anamuita. Wakati walifika kwake wakapata mtumishi wa Mungu wako kwa maombi. Utukufu wa Mungu unachunguka hapo. Mtumishi wa Mungu akaambia nyenye mnanikujia. Akasema moto ishuke toka mbinguni iwarambe. Moto ikashuka ikawaramba. What? Wakakufa. Mfalme akasema nani amefanya hiki? Mwende mwambie mimi mfalme na muita. Wengine wakaenda kosi kikosi kingine kia majeshi. Vivyo hivyo wakakuwa waka consumed na moto kutoka mbinguni baadaye mfalme mmoja mmoja kwa wale vikosi ni kama aligundua sira akasema hatutamwendea gisi wengine walienda akaenda akabao mbele zake akamwambia ikikupendeza bwana wangu na mfalme anakuhitaji hiyo mtumishi wa Mungu mwenyewe akasema haya twende maana ni utukufu wa Mungu Unaweza kupatia heshima, unaweza kupigania vita, unaweza kuweka kwenye watu hawawezi wakakuweka. Kuna position unataka ndani ya ofisi yenu, just call the glory. Kuna dimension unataka Mungu akuweke kwa huduma, just call the glory. Waliotembea na utukufu wa Mungu walifanya exploits. Amen. wakati yote utakuwa katika vita iwe ya huduma iwe ya maisha iwe ya kazi iwe ya wapi rudi kwa Mungu tafuta utukufu amen tafuta utukufu ati Israeli walipokuwa hapo wakaona Musa ni kama amekaa kwa mlima wakaambia Aruni sisi tumekosa tumetoka na kungojea huu Musa ututengenezee ndama tuanze kuiabudu wewe ni nani wewe utaleta division mbele ya Musa Musa aliposhuka akaona kwenye watu wanafanya akauliza tu wangapi wako ngambo ya Mungu wenye wako ngambo ya Mungu wakaenda ngambo ya Musa alafu wenye walibaki huko udongo kafunguka ikawameza you see what the glory can do so don't fight hata ukiwa kwa boma mume amekugeukia ngumu oh ni nani usigombane usimgombanishe We rudi kwa Mungu tafuta utukufu. Ambia Mungu nipatie utukufu. Unajua mtumishi wa Mungu toka Uganda alipreach hapa akasema, 
Esther akachaguliwa kuwa malkia lakini wanataka kuwa Mordekai na Mordekai ndiye alimsaidia Esther kuwa malkia sasa Mordekai alikuwa na conflict na Esther kwani Esther unachukia nitauawa na wewe ndiwe malkia na unakaa kwa kiti cha ufalme sasa usipo tuokoa kwa hii muda Mungu atafanya njia ingine ili kwamba tuokoke unaona hiyo ni conflict yenye ilikuwa in between wewe Esther mimi nimekuleta kwangu baada ba, ba, ya wasasi wako kufa lakini umesikia kibarua kimesainiwa nitakufa na unatulia Esther aliposikia habari akasema sawa kama ni kwangu niko mnataka ni kutoke msaada mimi siwezi weza kuwasaidia lakini kile tutafanya tutafute utukufu akaambia Mordekai mwende muambie Mordekai aambie Wayahudi wote kuanzia leo waingie kwa maombi ya kifungo wafunge siku tatu bila kula ama kunywa na siku ya tatu mimi nitaenda mbele ya mf- falme bila hata ya kutafuta audience where the glory is we don't need audience hizo za kusema munipatie appointment we don't need appointments we just call for the glory and the glory when the glory will come yeye yenyewe itakufungulia milango ya nyaungu wazi yake itafunguka amen the glory tafuta utukufu wa Mungu na utukufu yenyewe itakufanyia vitu ambazo watu hawezi wakakufanyia Bwana Yesu asifiwe Wangapi wanasema wanataka utukufu wa Mungu jioni ya leo Amen Sasa pointi ya kwanza ya utukufu ni holiness Amen Waambie wana Israeli wajitakase leo na kesho kwa maana siku ya tatu nitawatokea nitakuja kwao Take me now to 14 Exodus 19:14 Thank Jesus Oh Lord So Moses went down from the mountain to the people and sanctified the people Musa akawaosha kwa sababu Musa ni kuani na kuani wako na uwezo wa kusambi, wa kuombea watu zambi zao zifanye nini ziondolewe Musa Moses and Aha uh-huh. so Moses went down from the mountain to the people and sanctified the people and they washed their clothes Moses is sanctifying the people and the people they do what they washed their clothes So kwa hii mata haiko mata ya Musa kukusanctify kuku na pia kukuoshea ni Musa na kusanctify alafu wewe unaosha nguo zako So glo utukufu wa Mungu ili kwamba ukue na access kwa utukufu uishi na utukufu utembee na utukufu ya kwanza ni wewe uwe mtakatifu mbele za Mungu na pia nguo zako zioshwe nguo manake nini ni matendo yako yale ile ile habits hizo hali hali zako zioshi yani uziondoe usiache utukufu wa Mungu hautashuka juu yako wakati bado uko na mdomo mdomo ya kusema yani unaweza ongea mpaka wanafikiri unaongea ukweli kumbe unadanganya wanaweza kuona wanaona mtakatifu a, a man of god but what you are doing in your background wakiviweka kwa kwa screen watu wanaweza juuliza ni yeye sie So you are a good daughter in church. Uh, Reverend knows you. You are a good daughter. And when he when he saw you, he's had my daughter is but your daughter pastor is a wife to another to some, somewhere and you 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 gonna mtafutia msichana. Uko mtafutia msemo atamoa na huyo daughter wako ameoleweka mahali pengine. Kila Saturday anakuaga married and we wanna mtafutia umse you see ama uko unatafutia umse mwana mwanarika mzuri msichana na kumbe yule umse ni married somewhere so hiyo kwa hizo hali utukufu haiwezi kushuka utukufu haiwezi kushuka it not for for vain Mungu anaambia Moses muweke hizo boundaries musili mlima mtu asiingie 
ama siugushe ama asiukaribie kwa maana ni mtakatifu mlima ulikuanga hapo miaka na miaka na hakuna mtu alikuwa na uangaikea walikuwa wanaweza access huo mlima na hata mifugo zao walikuwa wanaweka kwa huo mlima wanalishia hapo lakini hiyo siku Mungu akawaambia kusikwe kwenye kitakuo hapo that's why god gave them the mandate that the, 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 the deadline akawaambia leo na kesho mjitakase alafu siku ya tatu nitawakujia niongee na nyinyi Baada ya Mungu kutoa Israeli Misri, Mungu anawaweka anawaambia, "Mmeona vile nimewatendea mkiwa Misri na mkaona vile nimewafanyia mkiwa hapa. Sasa msikuwa na miungu mingine ya kuabudu wala msifikirie kuniacha." This is the word of God today. Unajua kwenye Mungu amekutendea BMI Unaona ishara zenye Mungu amefanya kwa macho yako? Umeona miujiza yenye Mungu amefanya kwa madhabahu haya? Lakini itakuwa ole kama still you unaweza doubt Mungu kwa hii madhabahu. Ama unaweza rudia ukageuka ukatan back kwa njia zako za giza zibaya na umeona kwenye Mungu amekufanyia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Utukufu wa Mungu unatembea na utakaso. Mungu akaambia Musa watakasike na waoshe nguo zao. Na Musa akaambia watu mjitakase akawatakasa. Baada ya kuwatakasa wakaosha nguo zao. Sasa kwenye kitaleta utukufu ni wakati wa Kristo tumekubali kujitakasa na tunaosha nguo zetu. Yaani tunaacha hizo tabia mbaya mbaya. Na Mkristo anaweza koroganisha watu, anawachonganisha yani anaambia pasta Rev Elijah amekuongea hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi Pastor Rev ana, 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 ananichukia bure Na wakati ananichukia anaambia Elijah wewe kwa hii kanisa siko nake tena Na mimi nasema daddy you are my boss here and you are my papa I, I relate to your anointing don't do that oh lakini kwa sababu imekukera kenye nimeongea kufuatana na kenye umeambiwa nimefukuzwa sasa baada ya mimi kwenda what will you gain Those are the things zenye zinafanya utukufu ya Mungu isikue mahali and that's why miracles hatuzionagi tena Tunabaki hiyo miracles how are you feeling i'm feeling headache in Jesus man i command headache to disappear how do you feel i'm okay Those are miracles yes but bado kuna zingine viwete hawajatembea hapa hawajatembea vile kwa hawajaona vipofu hawajasikia wale ambao wasikii hawajafufuliwa wafu and all those miracles ni zetu zenye Mungu alituahidi kwamba tutafanya but because the glory is not here with us unajua kuna miujiza zingine zenye hatutagombea We will not pray for you. We will not lay hands on you, but we will just call for the glory. And wakati glory inashuka, miujiza yenyewe inafanyika. You will be sitting there, Elijah is praying here, Rabba shendele baratela, and you are lifting your crutches, you are walking. You are walking. You are hearing, you are seeing. Those are miracles that happens in the glory. Kwa utukufu wa Mungu hakuna haja watu waweke mikono. And the number three kwa kumalizia it's the beauty. Let me put it like this. Beauty attracts the glory. Amen. Beauty attracts attracts the glory. Manake urembo ama uzuri wa mahali una 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 unaitishanga utukufu amen biblia inasema wakati yenye mfalme anamaliza kujenga hekalu utukufu wa Mungu ukakuja na utukufu yenye ilikuja ikawa mkubwa kuliko yenye ilikuwa ya kwanza yani ilijengwa vizuri 
ikatengenezwa vizuri na maandiko yanatuambia mili yenu ni hekalu ya nani ya roho mtakatifu manake wakati mwili wako unatakasika wakati mwili wako uko sawa wakati wewe peke yako unajua uko sawa na Mungu hiyo yenyewe inendake naita utukufu kuna levels zenye utafikia hauna haja watu uambie watu wa kuinvite watu wenyewe watakuona wanajua this is the man of god man of god can you pray for me man of god can you do but pana watu bado wako wanaenda my dear can i pray for you can i pray for you can i pray for you uh uh-uh. in glory is was kwangu watu wenyewe watakutafuta sababu ukikuwa na utukufu wa Mungu utukufu wa Mungu ndani ya mtu inakuanga kama mark yenye Mungu anawekaka juu ya mtu kwa kiwango kila mwenye atakuona atajua unapeleka solution ya maisha yake amen if you need the glory tell god i need the glory i need the glory Stand up on your feet and start praying tell God we need the glory tell him father 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 we need the glory kwa kila kitu kenye unakipitia kwa kila kitu kenye unakiona kwa kila kitu kenye unajua ambacho hakiwezi kufanyikiwa kama utukufu wa Mungu hujashuka na wewe peke yako ndio unajua you know your life you know the way you conduct yourself unajua vile unajipitisha mbele za Bwana unajua ma- isha yako na Mungu ina relate namna gani unajua ndani yako yale mambo yenye inaweza ikazuia utukufu wa Mungu usikue ndani yako na vitu zingine nyingi zenye zinahitaji utukufu wa Mungu zenye zinahitaji utukufu wa Mungu ndani yako ambia Mungu anahitaji utukufu wako ambia baba anahitaji utukufu wako jioni ya leo Bwana anahitaji utukufu wako ndani ya nyumba yangu anahitaji utukufu wako ndani ya kazi yangu unahitaji utukufu wako ndani ya biashara yangu unahitaji utukufu yako ndani ya home yangu unahitaji utukufu yako ndani ya kila nifanyalo in my studies father i need the glory in everything i do lord i need your glory lord we need your glory as a church father we need the glory somebody call the glory somebody call now the glory somebody you have been enter you have been going through battle call the glory you have been undergoing some some issues just call the glory when the glory of god will come everything will change every chain will be broken when the glory of god will come in the mighty name of jesus i want to hear somebody calling for the glory i want to hear somebody call for the glory i want to hear somebody fall for the glory i want to hear somebody calling for the glory call the glory For your glory I will do everything just to see you to be held as my king for your glory I will do anything just to see you to be hold as my king for your glory I will do anything just to see If you know how to sing you can back me here now come now come now I want to call for the glory before I leave this altar I want to call for the glory before I leave this altar somebody you are going back home with the glory everywhere you will put your feet the glory of God will be detected the glory of you will be detected and no demon shall stand before you and no affliction will stand before you today 
say right now in this place the glory of God is coming down the glory of God is coming down the glory of God is coming down in a good come a villain for in a good come a villa strong wind the glory of God is coming down how I pray like that somebody will experience this glory will experience this glory hey for your glory I will do anything just to see to be honest my King for your glory for your glory Somebody sing the glory. Just to see you to be my king for your glory. For your Microphone, just lift up your voice and pray. Let us create the atmosphere of glory as we call the glory of God. Everyone, open your mouth and call this glory. I don't know if someone is seeing what I'm seeing right now. There are chains that God is breaking in this place. There are people God is lifting this place. There are people God is blessing in this place. There are people God is elevating in this place. There are level on which you are. And today God is elevating you. God is bringing promotion. Father, now your glory, 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 glory. How I pray somebody can call the glory. How I pray that somebody will say, be it what will be, 
but I'm not living here without the glory of God. How I wish somebody will be like Moses, having the idea on what the glory of God can do. Glory of God, Father now, Father now. I always see you in ministering to your children in this altar. I always see wonders happening on this altar. I always see miracles on this altar. I always experience your power. Touch lives now, touch. Touch somebody, Father. Let your glory touch people here. Let your glory touch people here. Let your glory touch people here. Pana watu alilia muda murefo. Na utukufu unakuja kupambiza machosi. Utukufu unakuja kupeleka viwango vinkine. Pana watu wa huku tarajia kuwa nao. Leo chioni hii. Utukufu unakupeleka viwango. Ore pele tele mama. Kazi yako inazama tunda. Yale ambayo huku tarajia. Ay, 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 ay. Glory, 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 glory. Father, you told me to tell your people to just call the glory. I don't know what you are in the crying children of God. I don't know what is disturbing you, saints. Just call this glory. The glory does never disappoint. No person has ever been disappointed. No person has ever been in this glory. And they are disappointed. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We have a typical example. Our father, he walked with the glory and signs and wonders. Always follow him. Today the same is happening to you. Today the same is happening to you. Saints call the glory. Saints call the glory. How I wish somebody will be shifted his mind and see the mind of God and think for the glory. The glory is changing your marital status. Your glory, the glory, the glory is giving you a car. The glory is giving you that land. The glory is giving you that marriage. The glory is giving you that position. I want to now hear people in the house calling the glory. Father Lord, the glory does never disappoint. How I pray, Father, that you will allow your people to experience just a minute for your glory. Just a minute, Papa. Just a minute, that's how I to pray. Just a minute, Holy Ghost. Just a minute, oh Father. Just a minute, oh Mighty. Just a minute, oh King of Glory. Just a minute, oh my Father. If it happens to a human being like like, 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 like Esther, Lord, when he went to the king and tell the king, if it pleases you, allow me to do a feast for you and come to my place and eat. And one hour, one hour with the king changed what was written. What I labele tele papa, what we labele bose tele baha, what I am tele bose Glory, glory, shift us, O God. Glory, take us to another dimension. Glory, take this place, O God. Oh, Robo Zetele, O Zayatas. Oh, the glory. Of your presence. Temple, we give you reverence. So arise in your place and be blessed. 
Father, I thank you for your glory in this place this night. I thank you for miracles that is happening in this place tonight. I thank you for signs and wonders in this place tonight. I know your children, Lord, have received something from you. I thank you for your knowledge in this place today. And now, my Father, before I leave this altar, I pray for the sick. If you are here and you are sick, just touch where you are feeling pain, and I command the pain to leave now. If you are sick and you are here, just put your hands where you are feeling pain. I want to see if you are here and you are feeling pain. Is there anyone who is here and you are feeling pain? Come here. If you are here and you are feeling pain somewhere, come here. No one feeling pain. You are here and you have a disease. Come here. Amen. Thank you, God, because we are all okay. Amen. Just put your hands together and celebrate the Lord for what he has done. Just celebrate him, celebrate him, celebrate him. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's once again celebrate the servant of the Lord for the powerful message. Let's celebrate Jesus for that powerful message. Hallelujah. After such a powerful message, I cannot afford to earn anything on top of it. So you can only request to stand and share the grace. Thank you, man of God, for that powerful word. We are much blessed and we are happy for such a powerful anointing. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall do in the house of the Lord forever and ever. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Have yourself a very wonderful, pleasant and peaceful good night. May heaven take care of you. And may the glory of God abide with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.